So of course you marked along. It has been recorded. It is quiz time. Unless you have questions about this. No, quiz is Sokotoa stuff. But it is a large quiz. Well, it's two pages front and back, but to be fair, the last two pages only take up three questions because there's pictures because it's a trick quiz. Of course they don't. Nobody has any questions about these. They have been recorded. You can check later. But since you didn't pay attention now, I can only assume you won't care about it later. So let us move on. There is your quizzle. Number one, what's the answer? A, of course it's A, because to be Pythagoras, you must have a 90 degree. And that's the only one with 90 degree. Number two, what must a Pythagorean triple be? I've never used those words, but you all are log logically minded. What must a Pythagorean triple be? A, because A squared plus B squared equals C squared. And A and B, which had to be the shorter ones, would equal C. It was A. This is, of course, 3.2, 4.6. It's Pythagoras, so the answer is C. Number 10. Oh, my good gravy, it's Pythagoras again. 32, 43. And it is D, if I'm not mistaken. A ladder which is five meters long, leans against the wall with the bottom of the ladder 1.5 away. Oh my goodness, it's Pythagoras again. And it's D, I think. Yes. Tangent is C, opposite and adjacent. Why is B wrong? Because somebody always circles B. Echo. Pardon me? Right. The opposite doesn't have to be vertical. If I draw the triangle this way, there's theta. That's not vertical. Eight. B. Nine. C. Ten. Yes. 11, uh, 6.8, sounds good to me. The answer is 6.889 or something, so it's 
6.88 is acceptable. 6.9. I will not accept 6.8 from an honors class that cannot round. I refuse to do that. I will accept that or that. Was it 6.89? I don't think so. Let's check. Square root of 9.4. It was 6.884. So it was 6.88. This is draw a picture. 80. 30.6. You can rotate that in any way you want. As long, you can even draw it badly. 80 and 30.6. I don't even care. As long as the 30.6 is adjacent to the 80 and not in the hypotenuse, you get the mark. Then solve the question. Tan, 80 equals x over 30.6. 30.6 equals tan 80. 30.6 tan 80 equals x. x equals 173.54. I will, of course, accept 173.5. That was worth two marks there. <laughs> Draw a picture. A slide, you climb up the ladder, you slide down the slide, it goes to the ground. 38 degrees with the ground. If the slide takes up 3.1 meters of ground space, 3.1. That is the drawing for one. Solve the question. It's the exact same question you just did. Tan 38 equals x over 3.1. 3.1 tan 38. That's an interesting three. Shut up. Only people that have ever actually used the magic pen can laugh at me. It is very difficult to do. It takes practice. And the answer was 2.42. One for that, one for that. So it's not recognizing a pen? I have fixed mine, so you can... But on regular ones, your hand will draw as well. I have had to turn off... It's a bit of a design flaw. I have turned off the ability to use my finger. But it's not easy to do. It's not intuitive. It took me a long time to figure out how to do it. And then I realized as I was figuring it out, it took me forever. Wait a minute. I should have just Googled how to turn off touchscreen on a Surface 4. But by that time, I was deep into all this. Screw it. I'm going to find it myself. And last or second to lastly, A is 5. A is 5. B is 4. Find y. Well, x equals the square root of 5 squared plus 5 squared, which is the square root of 50. Which means that 4 squared plus the square root of 50 squared, square rooted, equals y. That is the square root of 16 plus 50 equals y. The square root of 66 equals y. y equals 8.2, I believe. 8.1? 8.12. There was the 2. 2. Sukman, what? 8.3? How did you get 8.3? I did, um, uh, 8.3 plus 5 squared. 
Yes, which is the square root of 50. Yeah, but then you just remove the zero for here. Hey, that's wrong. But the square root of 50 squared is 50. So if you round it in the middle of the question, you're going to have the wrong answer, which means you should get not the full marks. You may have one out of two. Because I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I have said a few times not to round in the middle of a question. And lastly, T equals 52, A equals 30, B equals 45. So, tan 52 equals 45 over X. X equals 45 divided by tan 52, which is something like 35.16. 35.1157. So most of you will have rounded that off, which is fine. But when you are seeking Y, should you round it off? No. no. For Y, you should leave this on your calculator or like that. Y <coughs> is tan 52 equals Y over x plus a, yes? x plus a is this value, which should be sitting on your calculator right now. So I'm just going to write x plus 30 equals tan 52. And then x plus 30, which is sitting on your calculator right now, because you had this, then you did plus 30 to get 65.15 uh, 785319 times tan 52 to get an answer of 83.4. And if you went further than that, it was 83. Well, no, you couldn't because it was 83.398, which is 83.4. That is out of three marks. You decide how much you should get. Making the whole quiz out of five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and eight. Making the whole quiz out of nineteen. You will put a total on the front. You will hand them to the front where I will then record them and give them back to you. You all are going to start working on pages. 68 to 71. Only one of them was out of three, I believe. But I can check, Jesse. The last question was out of three. The second to last question was out of two. Because the second to last question was Pythagoras. Please make sure your names are on them. I don't need the first numbers. I don't need them. Now, for those of you who still <laughs> so hang up, because you shouldn't have bothered to check it until 25 minutes from now, or half an hour from now, or whenever it is you're out of class. Now, as I was saying, for those of you that cannot wrap your minds around the fact that I am giving you timed quizzes and deadlines, there is a reason for this. The reason for this is I am tired of watching you people do a whole bunch of work, get an answer, and sit there and then try and immediately lawyer ball yourself out of the right answer. Do you understand what I am saying? I watch you when you are doing your work. 
you do a whole bunch of work, you sit and you work with somebody, and then you have a conversation about the question. And since you were teenagers, your conversation about the question is so loud that I can hear it. And I hear you argue each other out of the right answer, often. The reason I give you deadline quizzes is so you cannot sit there and go, oh my God, did I get it right? I need to get perfect. If I don't get perfect, I, I, I'm just going to have to quit. All right? You are doing this as practice. That is why your tests are significantly shorter than the 80 minutes you have to do them. You say now that they won't be, but you will notice that the vast majority of you finish your tests in the 80 minutes allotted with so much time left that 20 to 25 of you sit around talking and the last 10 to 5 people don't get quiet time to do their test. If you wish to honestly tell me you need more time to do things, then on your next unit test, I had better not see 20 to 25 of you sitting around talking about the weekend. I, and by the weekend, I don't mean the crappy Canadian rap guy. I, if you want time, what do you want me to call him? The Canadian recording artist of whom I have little respect for. I even said that wrong. The Canadian recording artist for whom I have little respect. How's that? At any rate, the fact that very often when you are given time to do something, you choose to waste that time is why I am giving you deadlines on your quizzes. Because there is time to work and there is time to piss around. Right? Right? Work time is for work. Okay? Now, I'm about to give you some work. Yeah. Pages 68 to 71. I will be marking it when you walk in the door tomorrow. So however much... No, marking. It is an assignment. No, we will mark it like we mark reviews. I am telling you right now, very early on in this assignment is a very difficult question. Even though I am warning you of this, you are all still going to spend 40 minutes on that difficult question. Ignoring the fact that there are eight questions or so after that that are not difficult. What is the better use of your time? Do those eight and come back to that one. Because part of my job, since it is next to impossible to actually do anything I'm supposed to do in here, part of my job is to teach you time management. And since it is always easier to do the work here with all your friends around you, you should manage that time wisely. Go. 68 to 71, I believe. Just let me double check. It is indeed 68 to 71. And as always, if you ever get stuck, continue on. Because often you find something later that helps you out with the previous question. Upon which you were stuck.